Seat belts on. Pardon? Fasten your seat belts. Fasten your seat belts, okay. <laughs> we're, we're live with fastening, fastening your seat belts. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, yeah, you know, I th you know, in the early days of learning to drive, um, I I'm pretty sure a lot of fear can come up. And uh, the thing, with, if too much fear comes up, then it can really disconnect you from what you know. And uh, and then you can, uh, it sort of short circuits everything, and then you can sort of make uh, a lot of mistakes. I think the, the way I would do that, if you're in the early days of driving and uh, you're starting to get paralyzed with uh, fear or fear attacks, the thing, unfortunately the thing with driving is that you've got to um, be quite aware of your surroundings. So you can't be like off in a meditative state or bliss out or anything. But I think you can do a lot of work prior to the to the lesson to clear out all your fears. So that that's the thing I would do. And the thing is, like when when you did your last uh, driving uh, lesson, there'll be certain ideas and thoughts apart from the the overwhelming fear that may come up if if there's mistakes or whatever or trying to track everything. Is uh, what are the thoughts? And you know, like oh, well, you know, if I uh, if I stall. You know, maybe there's going to be an accident, there'll be an insurance thing, you know, I'll uh, be blamed, the car, the driver will be angry, or all of these things, is to just um, work on, you know, you could, for example, do the Course of Miracles on it. You could, you know, pray for a miracle to see it differently, pray for a miracle to see what would happen if there was an accident differently, or, or you could uh, place the driving lesson in the hands of God. Uh, you could pray to see peace instead of what you now see in it. So you could use all of those lessons prior to, to the lesson. You could, you could practice self-inquiry or be the observer of, of these uh, thoughts or, or the terror that might be coming up. Or, you know, what, what, if, what if there's an accident or what if I get it all wrong or something like that. Um, and also, you know, one of, you know, one of the things to do is... Um, uh, I trained as a hypnotherapist, is you can try and, before you go on the lesson, is try and visualize things uh, in your mind and bring up the fear and then pr uh, process it out. Like, try and, you know, try and bring up as much fear as you can and just sit with it and just uh, disidentify with the thoughts and just be with that fear and just empty out that tank of, of, uh, of uh, repressed fear that you have that's been brought up in, in relation to this. So you'll be just clearing away a lot of the fear and just praying for miracles to see it differently, and that will help you when you're in the in the lesson see it differently. I was like doing uh, beforehand, you know, like pray, um, doing some prayers, pray, pray. Uh, if you've got some with you, pray for their well-being, pray for the safety of all the people who are on the street, you know, all of those things. So that will also help to bring sort of a more connected, uh, loving uh, experience to it. But um, yeah, as someone was saying, the more the more you do it, you know, the more um, these things become more automatic, and it becomes less uh, le less fearful. So I'd be I'd be doing that. I think um, the thing with uh, the the thoughts, a lot of negative thoughts come up because they you're you're being triggered. You're being triggered into things like, you know, it's triggering things like if you make a mistake or if, you ha if there's an accident or people get angry or it may bring up fear of uh, financial fears like what if you have an accident and there's an insurance thing and there's money involved. So you want to sort of, so whatever's coming up, you can sort of release those thoughts, you know, pray for them to be uh, recontextualized or seen differently. Uh, and and the, the, the main thing, I think, is just feeding out the energy of the fear before and after. Because if you, if you feel out a lot of the fear, you know, like if someone said, to, if someone said, like, you know, you've got to jump off, the, you've got to jump off this mountain, you know, uh, and a lot of terror came up, uh, then, you know, if I sat with the, if I sat with that fear until it, would, it was all run out, uh, actually, there wouldn't be any fear there, you know. Uh, so, Fear is like an energy, so things can you can still do. so when when you empty out the tank of fear, mm -hmm. uh, things are differently. Also realize that as you're emptying out the the fear, how you perceive a situation changes because when you're in a lot of fear, um, also fear you know fear disconnects you. In martial arts they know that if they can make an opponent fearful or angry, then they're going to win. 
because uh, all of that fear, you know, all your acupuncture meridians get blocked off. Uh, you know, you, you act from this impulsive, fearful, angry place. You're not very good. You're coming from a more, more of a disconnected place where those who can retain their peace, you know, uh, will, will, win, will win the martial arts contest. So also when, you, when the fear or anger comes up, or in this case fear, then you, the ego perceives things through a filter of fear. And that's also paralyzing. So you start to see, uh, you know, oh, may, people are judging me or actually the universe is not on my side or whatever. So just feeling out the fear, you'll start to have a more benign, um, a benign view of things. You'll have a benign filter of things. And also you'll start to get more uh, spiritual thoughts you know, that, you know, maybe the Holy Spirit is with you, you know, it's okay, the, or trust, you know, these kind of thoughts will come as you start to release, release uh, the things. So that's, um, that's what I'd say. I'd be working mostly on, uh, prior to the lesson, just clearing mm -hmm. out as much of the fear and just praying yeah. for what, what are the habitual thoughts and praying for miracles to see them differently. And then when I do that, I know I'll be at a different level of consciousness mm -hmm. when I'm doing the thing. And that... It's the level of consciousness, it's your connection to grace that protects you and makes things go well. And it's your disconnection from grace and being in the fear which actually makes things go in a more unmanageable manner. But I wish you a miracle for anyone who's taking driving lessons.